anyone who travels this deadly stretch on a daily basis could tell you that the road surrounding this intersection is riddled with blind spots and black holes. And following yesterday's tragic and fatal collision, Council says enough is enough. It only took a matter of minutes for this home to be totally engulfed in flames. This is the bedroom of a 12 year old boy. He chose to sleep on the couch last night. It's something that may have saved his life. It's estimated losses could be somewhere in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that's not what's devastating owners who are having to say goodbye to their beloved horses. Representatives from the state's health services union say while they applaud the agreement, the government and the New South Wales Ambulance Service must address the real issue. You come to a town where you're going to destroy people's lives and you just sneak in here and sneak back out. The Murray-Darling Basin is more than South Australia. Studies have shown that where flashing lights have been installed, 17% of drivers reduce their speed of up to 7 kilometres per hour that could be the difference to avoid an early morning or after school accident. Around eight years ago, Murrumbidgee Irrigation devised a plan while in drought stop water leaking from the main canal and into the Maroo Creek by blocking the Eastern Maroo Creek regulator overflow. <music> Mr Majeri was travelling home to Darlington Point, driving here along Old Wilbriggy Road, when he stopped to help a hitchhiker who had flagged him down for a lift. It's then when he was confronted with the terrifying situation. Police conducted a thorough search of the premises locating cannabis and other unknown substances. A 30-year-old Griffith man living here at the residence is currently assisting police with their inquiries, with charges expected to be laid in the coming days. This is as close as we can get to the location believed to be hiding the remains of Donald McKay. An excavator has just arrived on site and is preparing to dig out a dam the size of a swimming pool. Forensic investigation and drilling will then begin in a bid to find some clue to solve this murder mystery. In the latest brazen attack, a woman had her bag stolen off the chair she was sitting on. Every move you make is being monitored by CCTV cameras and staff are warning those stealing you will be caught. As of tomorrow, if you're caught using your mobile phone without a fixed mount installed in your car or simply having your mobile phone on your lap, you'll lose three demerit points and be slapped with huge fines. While the major scare has eased for residents living in Naradin, the entire threat is not all but over, with more extreme weather conditions expected for later this week. RFS crews are now busy backburning to reduce any fuel loads which could put them back at risk.
he's gone. And uh, upside down that digs in. Safety crew immediately off there.